Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a great day. Um, I do have a fun video for you today. It is my Boxy versus Boxy. I got both of my base boxes today, so I get two of them, and then next month, um, I will get a Lux box in place of one of these. So, one of these is attached to my premium account and one of them is not. So there is always a possibility for duplicates and, and whatnot as far as that goes because one of them knows what I've gotten before and one of them doesn't. So, um, without any further ado, there are supposed to be some great things in here and they're definitely different based on size. Um, I don't know the weight of them. I didn't get my FedEx. Um, my FedEx email for one of them. So um, I'm not 100% sure what's in it. This one's definitely heavier, but let's go ahead and take a peek. Now this first one is the one that is um, associated with my Lux box. So um, every three months you get a Lux box if you subscribe to Lux for an additional $24.99. So once a month I get this one, or on the other months, I get this one for $25. So this is just a regular base box. But let's go ahead and peek inside and see what I got. Now they did get these out to me rather early this month. Usually it takes quite a bit longer. I mean, I was waiting. We left for vacation on October 17th. And then I was waiting up until that day to get one of these boxes so I could do it for you. Okay, opening her up. There she is, right on top is the card. And this is variation number 26. And this is BoxyCharm Harvest. And I do remember what I chose for my, um, my items. So you get to choose one item every month in your base box. With your Lux, you get to choose two. And with your Premium, you get to choose one. And yes, Boxy Charm did just sell to um, Ipsy, um, but they will continue to operate as a separate business. Okay, and the next thing I'm pulling out of here is it's a 25% off of a Natasha Denona. And let me read this. You can use it at Natasha, Natasha Denona. Dot com. It is valid through Christmas Day on select products. It may not be applied in combination with any other sales, discounts, and or promotions. So I'm assuming, assuming that since it says select products, it's not going to be um, uh, valid on the new palette that just came out. At least I'm hoping so because I just ordered it in the VIB sale at Sephora. And the first thing up is the Natasha Denona Peak Palette. So this is exclusive to BoxyCharm. It's something that Natasha um, curated with just BoxyCharm in mind. It's only available through BoxyCharm as far as I know. And um, her palettes are fantastic. I do have a few Natasha Denona palettes and their uh, formula is just amazing. So the shades on here, it doesn't, I mean, it's a, it's a small palette. It's not a mini palette. A mini palette is, a, is much smaller. The pans are much smaller. So those are super pretty. All right, let us, yep, they feel like butter. The top. a few dogs not gonna lie oh there they all they all go yeah this is beautiful I am so happy for this and that is what the colors look like very pretty and then I'll read on the back what they are and it says ATA Jasper Thorn Amhara and Shine very pretty very happy to get that. I was hoping. I know they were going out to 1 million subscribers, but it didn't mean that everybody was going to get one. All right. And then the next item that I see, and that, let me read. 
Hold on. I didn't give you a price on it. The Natasha Denona Peak Palette has a $48 value. And yes, it does. That is what her, her palettes normally cost. All right, the next thing that I have is my choice item, and this is the Milk Makeup. This is the Kush Waterproof Mascara, and it is a waterproof intense black mascara with thickening heart-shaped fibers and conditioning hemp-derived cannabis seed oil. It has a retail value of $24. I'll open her up and see what the wand looks like. Um, um, we have a 16 year old poodle he's a, he's a toy poodle he's, he's very small um, but the puppy is obsessed with him and she will ooh, she will not leave him alone so this is the packaging inside and it is metal. It is very substantial. I love the way that it feels in my hand. Um, and it's, um, yeah, it's got a little, a little ribbing on it. And my husband's just letting them fight up there. Okay, so it's got a nice big fluffy one. It smells like mascara. Wonderful, and I did choose that item. Happy to get it. Um, I always like a good mascara. All right, so the next thing is from Alamar Cosmetics, and this is the Pero Primero uh, Primer. So, Alamar Cosmetics Pero Pero Primero Primer Long Wear Sticky Pigment Base a water-based primer designed to glue eyeshadow in place and maximize color and pearl dimension. It's water and wear resistant and it's water and wear resistant and enriched with shea butter to provide skin conditioning and moisturizing benefits. It also works as a glitter glue mixed with your favorite concealer to customize the primer shade. Oh, cool. I like that. I need a good like glitter glue one. I mean, I just opened up also the Glow Attic XL box in my previous video and it came with the Baby Got Peach palette from ColourPop and that's got a really like light glitter in it that you definitely need a glue for. So this Pero, Pero Primero primer. Um, yeah, all right. And that has a retail value of $15. All right. So the next thing that I'm pulling out here, it is the um, it's Dr. Brandt's Antioxidant Spray Toner. This toner is packed with an antioxidant rich blend of green tea and white tea to shield your skin from free radicals and environmental stressors. It's formulated with red rose wine and lotus flower extract to tone, soothe, purify, leaving skin feeling soft, hydrated, and revitalized. Okay, I've gotten a lot of toners lately. I was really happy to get the Murad one last month in my premium box and now well now I got another one to put on deck and um, I do have to apologize I never did open my ipsy glam bag plus from last month and I'll tell you and I'll tell you why um, when it arrived I, I, I was on vacation I opened it when I got back and three out of the five products that were supposed to be in the glam bag, including one of my add-ons were missing. They just weren't there. So I just made the decision not to open it. They I did contact customer service with Ipsy and they're going to be replacing those items if they have them in stock. So if they don't have them in stock, they're gonna send me something comparable. So I got House Laboratories lip gloss and I'm just gonna be super bummed out. It was the first thing that I chose. It's what I really wanted. And um, yeah, if they don't send me that, I'm gonna be mad. Sorry, not sorry. And then one of the items I actually, I mean, I paid for everything in the box, but one of them was my add-on item and that just not in there. Um, as well as my Ciate London Primer. Not in there. Okay. And then this month when I went to go do my customization, it was all lip products. Mm 
I don't know what's happening to Ipsy in the last two months, but I've never had a problem with them before. And then last month and then this month with my customization, they really dropped the ball. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. But if you're wondering why I never unboxed it, it's because more than half the box was missing. And the final item in my boxy charm that is associated with my Lux is, this is, what is this? I don't know, it's something. It is Half Caked Game Changer Lip Fondant, Lip Fondant Trio. These Lip Fondant Liquid Lipsticks go on with feather light texture and a dry, complete, and dry completely matte. For best wear, make sure lips are exfoliated and hydrated before applying. They have a retail value of $32. All right, lady, let's check them out. Um, okay. All right, so they're three. Really kind of pretty, pretty colors. The first one right here is kind of like a, a nude pink. And it is in the shade theme song. has like an open dofu applicator. That's kind of like a mauvey, a mauvey nude. Yeah. It's a little deeper than I, I expected it to be. They go on rather wet. So that's the first one. Okay, and the next one is in the shade Low Key. And it is a little bit more of like a, a peachy, pinky color. But not when it goes on. Yeah, it is. It's not quite red. It's not quite pink. Looks a little bit more red on camera. And then the last one is in Bordeaux. So, I mean, Bordeaux is a really dark red wine and this does not look like a dark red wine color to me. I mean, it's not like what I would imagine a Bordeaux to look like. But we'll play with these and see how they look. All right, all in all, I think that's a pretty solid box. Oh, righty. So the total retail value of my first base box that is not affiliated with my um, premium account is $159. All right, $159 and a $25 investment. The Natasha Denona um, palette alone pays for the box. And I was just excited to get that. Um, everything else is fantastic. I loved all the products that I received this month. Um, I, I don't feel let down at all. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and dig into the second box. And this one is the bigger of the two. So let's see what's inside. All right, first things first. It comes with the card on top. Okay. All right, let's pull out the first item and it is a repeat item. So we got the Dr. Brandt Antioxidant Spray Toner again. Um, this toner is packed with antioxidant rich, rich blend of green tea and white tea to shield your skin from free radicals and environmental stressors. It's formulated with res, red rose wine, lotus flower extract to tone, soothe, purify, leaving the skin feeling soft, hydrated, and revitalized. Retail value $40. I'm going to set that over there and that will go into a future giveaway. Um, I do have a giveaway going on right now on my channel, so you will want to check that out. I'll link the video down below. It is for a Jeffree Star mystery mini box, and um, yeah, I'll link it down below. All right, the next thing that I am finding in here um, is, is a variation against the Natasha Denona palette. So thankfully, I received that in my other box, otherwise I would have been extremely sad but I got one and I also got the Beauty Creations 
Cali Glow palette. It's a summer glow all year long. Yes, please. The Cali Glow Highlight Palette is made up of three shades to suit all skin tones. Malibu has a subtle champagne color. Santa Monica gives you the golden hour look all day long. And Manhattan Beach is the uh, for the ultimate bronze look. All right, let's open her up and see how she looks. She has a retail value of $14.99. We all know Beauty Creations is not necessarily high end. Um, and you know what? There we go. That is the palette. And I have quite a few highlighter palettes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this guy back up. I'm going to set it aside and this is going to go, um, in a future giveaway. Okay. The next item is, and it was something I wanted because I have been, um, I'm just about out of my hyaluronic acid. And this is the 111 Skin Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Booster. This hyaluronic acid aqua booster increases moisture levels by delivering a shot of concentrated, hi, concentrated hydrating ingredients into the skin to combat both dryness and dehydration. And I need this for the winter so that I don't look like I am made of a alligator skin. The MSRP on this is a whopping $135. Um, 111 Skin is always an expensive uh, brand. I'm not, a, I'm not sad to get this. I like it. Um, we've gotten 111 Skin a few times. It is 0.68 fluid ounces or 20 milliliters. That was a little dropper. Perfect. I needed a new one. I'll be using this very soon. Very soon, very soon. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Moving right along. There's two more things in here. And this one, I've seen better days, according to the packaging. So this is um, Jekka Black Liquid Corrector 2.0. So this Jekka Black Liquid Corrector 2.0 is meet the perfect under eye brightener, which disguises darkness and evens out skin tones. A lightweight formula creates a natural glowing finish. And the MSRP on this is $15. Mm-hmm, okay. I have a Charlotte Tilbury um, color corrector that I use under my eyes to combat darkness. So that one, um, it works pretty well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this aside for a giveaway because I don't, I don't know that I'll ever use it. I really love my Charlotte Tilbury one and I'm going to stick with that. So I'm um, setting this guy aside. It's going to go in the giveaway box. And then the final thing is my choice item. And this is by Benefit. And this is the Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow Plus Volumizing Eyebrow Gel. This tinted eyebrow gel contains tiny microfibers that adhere to your skin and hairs, creating natural looking fullness and definition. The custom tiny tapered brush provides easy, mess proof application poof fuller looking brows magically appear and i love this product i got it in shade number three because when i went to do my customization it was the lightest one they had available so hopefully it will work for me um yeah it looks like it'll probably be pretty good i have naturally pretty full dark brows um and i've been using this product for years so i chose it because Oh, he's wanting another one on hand. The one that I have right now is too light. The girl that I um, went to at Ulta that sold it to me, I think she was going on my hair color rather than my brow color. And I must have had freshly done hair at the time. My hair is getting done in a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, they're obviously different, different because I color my hair. Well, I don't color my hair. My friend Jessica does, but... Um, Anyway, all right. Benefit Gimme Brow has an MSRP of $24. And let's add this box up and see what our value is. All right, for our $25 investment on this one, 
we got a $228.99 return. So with $135 product in it, that's easy to do. Out of the two boxes, which one do you think won? I know which one I think won. I'm gonna go with the first one that I unboxed that's associated with my Lux account. Um, it has more products in it that I'm actually going to use. Um, it had the Natasha Denona palette in it and that alone, that alone makes it worth it to me um, because I love Natasha Denona palettes. I've got a new one coming from Sephora any day now from the VIB sale. And um, yeah, if you're gonna put Natasha Denona up against Beauty Creations, you've got some serious issues because No, no, Beauty Creations is nowhere near the same level of wonderful that Natasha Denona is. So I'm happy I got the Natasha Denona palette. I love Milk Makeup, I love their Kush uh, Mascara. I'll definitely be using that. I'm excited to get a Glitter Glue Primer. Um, I got two of the same toner, so those, you know, kind of wash each other out, and I, I do like toners. I'm not gonna complain about getting them. Um, and then the lipsticks will be fun to play around with. But it just seems like in this box, the second box that's associated with my premium account, I got, I got two items that, well, that and the, the toner that are usable. So I don't feel like I got as good of a value out of the second one as I did the first one. But um, overall, they're both solid boxes. I just think that they aren't weighed evenly. If that makes any sense. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about that. Jeffree Star is coming out with a new video to announce blood money today. I'm hoping, hoping I can get my hands on, uh, on, um, on those items when they go on sale. I'm assuming it'll be next Friday. He usually does Friday launches. So, all right, you guys have a great day. You go do something nice for yourself. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications and all that good stuff. And I will be seeing you again soon. Bye.